Today we're going to talk about how you get this bad boy up in the sky. My name is Fusa and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, how you fly with mouse and keyboard. To get uh, from uh, inside to outside, you use backspace. And uh, when you go inside, you can uh, zoom out with the mouse wheel and maneuver around in the cockpit by holding down the right side. Uh, if you are one of those that want to do everything with your mouse inside, uh, you should toggle off the yoik because the parking brake is behind the yoik. And here you also have uh, landing gear, pitch trim and throttle and you can adjust them by holding down the left side on your mouse. It should take uh, like five minutes to maneuver around in the cockpit so you find all the buttons you want to push. It's fully doable to get it out, up with just your mouse. But yeah, let's get back outside. And what, what I do first is to release the parking brake and that is control spacebar. And uh, as we saw from the inside, the button is here. So when we have released those, we will go back to the outside and we want to Put some flaps and if you want to adjust flaps it's B and V so now it's a hard time to uh, fly because they are fully retracted by pressing B the flaps are down but in the beginning I want just a little bit of flap ah, okay now I want speed before I go and parking brakes are off. We are now ready. We know how to put our flaps down. And we will press F3. And we can see the engine to the left side. And we will put some good energy there. You know what, we will go even more. We will put flaps. Uh, down and now we're using VASD uh, to maneuver and I press a little bit on S uh, so we have the nose a little bit up but we can also use the trim uh, and to get the nose down we press I and to get the trim up it's K so we can put a little bit of trim on it and we will get the nose up. We can actually retract our landing gear now and we can do it with pressing comma. Uh, these keys might might be a little bit different for everyone uh, because I'm uh, playing on a full keyboard and oh yeah we should uh, adjust uh, the uh, <laughs> adjust that trim because it's uh, not that good yeah it's getting chaotic and we should also get those flaps back there we go we're up and flying and you should try with a smaller plane at first and if you want to put like a, a trim so you would go a little a little bit to the right a little bit to the left you can use U and O um, o, uh, I just so we go to the left, U uh, to the left, O to the right, and but don't press down. You should tap because if you hold down too much, uh, the plane will go like that, and the uh, same goes with the trim up and down for, for the nose it you will take a deep now deep dive or it the nose goes to a high up and you will flip that way so tapping the buttons is quite nice and for landing the uh, spacebar it will work as brake remember to also take down the throttle on f2 so you go a, a little bit slower you you want to be a, on the green to the left and increase with F3. When you go down for landing, lower your speed, have a good angle and also uh, 
put down your flaps. Uh, here we can see uh, the horizontal line. Uh, this yellow should be on the line up there like this. And when you have that aligned, you have, you're going a nice straight line. But yeah, this is an intro how to fly with mouse and keyboard. I have multiple guides how you fly with mouse and keyboard, but that's for the older version of Microsoft Flight Sim. And now I did use WASD, but my other guides are for the numpad. So if you prefer playing with those, you could check out my numpad videos as well. Some people feel it's a little bit easier than the VASD. And you should also see what feels best for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you will enjoy this video. Thank you.